which one you should be using, hip thrust or glute bridge. If you are not familiar with the glute bridge, I'm not talking about the one where you are on the floor and just doing the bridge. I'm talking about the one with Kassim, Kassim, hopefully I pronounce your name right. He didn't invent it, he was just doing it and people who started doing the exercise and liked it, they named it after him and then he adopted the name and that's the glute bridge I'm talking about. You can do it on the floor and on the bench as well, just like a hip thrust, you can do it on the floor and on the bench as well. But let's take a look at what they are doing and based on that you can pick which one is better for your glutes. In a hip thrust you go all the way down and then come up from there and I don't want to mention the variations where the floor reset when you're touching the place down like you know all of that this is not the video for that but the main driver of the exercise is your glutes your quads are working as well due to the amount of knee flexion you get and your hamstrings are more or less compromised but they are still working in hip extension but because they act on both joints they can't maximally do that they can add a maximally hip extend or flex your knee so because of that your knee is already flexed it's in a compromised position and this is a thrust so by definition you are going to power up from the bottom and because everything happens at the bottom you are taking I wouldn't say a momentum but like a quick burst of power to come up from there that means that everything happens at the bottom so you are going to get the stimulus from the bottom so that's the hip thrust in a glute bridge from the bench it's quite different because you're not going all the way down and there is no momentum I wouldn't even say momentum but there is no burst of power everything is in a controlled environment you're controlling it down and because of that you are working around hip extensions it's like the top position where your glutes are getting the stimulus your quads are still working but they don't go under like this much knee flexion so because of that we can say that it's more quad friendly but you will still around hip extension so it's the at point so the top of the exercise and when you're doing the hip thrust is the bottom position where you get the most stimulus for your glutes so that's the main difference and I know that some of you will say that well that's not a glute bridge the glute bridge is like a hip thrust but just on the floor where your shoulders are touching it well it's literally just a definition so if you look at the word bridge and one is a thrust we can make this argument saying that well they are a bit different but the real question is which one you should be using to get the most out of your glutes and the answer is both both have their place in your training and if you look at what they are doing you can program them on different days when you feel like okay I need to train more around hip extension and the one is training you where your glutes are a bit more stretched I hope you learned something from the video and if you did make sure to share it with your pancake friend so he or she can learn from it and also subscribe to the channel and I'm going to see you in the next one. Hugs and kisses.